What's up? Doing another video today. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you woke up feeling good. Today I'm going to talk to y'all about no contact with the narcissist. Oh, man, it's crazy how dealing with one of these demons can make you become a fucking expert in narcissism. You look up, once you learn what narcissism is, it's almost like you're obsessed with it. Because it helps. But I'm going to talk about no contact how to do it and what it will do to you and what it will do to your narcissist. For one, when you go no contact, depending on where you are, what they did to you and how far they pushed over your boundary, it's going to be levels to how difficult it is going to be to actually pull off and do. I've tried doing it with my, I don't want to say my narc, but with the ex-narc for a very long time. For over a year, I tried it, and I just kept falling back to what it's called hoovering. But this time, things were different. See, in a relationship with a narcissist, you get to a point where they're going to do something, and it's going to be your finish line. Like, your soul is not going to let you continue to see this person. For me, I came to the realization that if I continued to see this person, I was going to end up dead. I was going to end up doing something to myself, and I was going to end up taking my life. And I came to the conclusion that my life is way more important to me than her life was. Way more important. So I decided... I'm going no contact and I'm going to keep it that way. You're going to get to that point as well no matter how long you've been dealing with this person. Some people are more tolerable to this kind of pain. Some people don't have an, the self-respect enough of it to get away from this person or the two trauma bonded. But a way you to start off instantly what you should do. Block them on everything. And I do mean everything. Oh yeah. Instagram. Phone numbers, because all, all their phone numbers, because when I mean, you're dealing with a narcissist, they got 45 million different phone numbers. Block them on all of it. Don't respond to anything. If they find a way to contact you, don't, do not respond to anything. Block them on any, everything. Cash app, freaking whatever it is you have that they could possibly mess with your mind. Everything. Everything, people. And what this is going to do is it's going to be painful at first. For me, whenever I finally came to the conclusion I was done, the first, I say like the first two, three days were painful. But then after that, the pain recited dramatically. It recedes dramatically. You start to feel better instantly. It's going to shock you how good you can feel. You're going to realize that, oh shit, you're going to realize that you are free. You hear me? Because I want to be real with you. When you're with this person, this narcissist, you're not free. You're probably not going to achieve a lot of things that you have to in mind to achieve. You're not. If you have a goal of having a healthy relationship, a loving, caring family, it's not going to happen. If you have goals of doing something with a career, it's probably going to be very hard to do when you're all constantly stressed over some toxic person. Who, like you, for reasons you you shouldn't be stressing. Relationships shouldn't be stressful, people. And once you go no contact, that stress is going to start relieving itself. I'm about a month, about a month, yeah, a little over a month into no contact. I I'm over it. You know, I'm over it. I think about this person from time to time, but I instantly, instantly in my head, when I'm having these thoughts about this person, I just cut them off. Cut these thoughts off because I don't need to be having them. I moved on. And this is only after a month. But I'm telling you all this about myself and my situation so you can know that you can do it too. You can do it too. I promise you. It's not gonna, it may not be as easy for some people. And in hell, it may even be easier for some people. But it's something that is required. No contact is required. You cannot be friends with them. You cannot associate with them in any type of way possible. 
no contact is the way. Don't worry about what don't worry about what they're doing. Do do not go on their on the blocked page on Instagram and look and see what they're doing. Or don't just looking at their profile picture. Don't do it. You don't do it. You shouldn't care. You should not care what this person is doing anymore in life. I promise you, it's going to keep setting you back if you keep looking at their social media. It's going to set you back. Hell, because I promise you by now, I say a week or two after you, if you're dealing with a true narcissist, a week or two after, they're in another relationship. They're in another one like that. And if you're a healthy person, you know that you cannot get out of a relationship, especially especially a toxic one, and jump into another relationship. You just can't do it. It's not going to work out. That's why these narcissists live on loops. That's why they're constantly going through supply, new people, because they're just jumping from. They're cowards. They are act like they're actual cowards. They can't be alone. They can't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't hate this person. If, person. If anything, you should feel very, very sorry for this person. Because they have something very wrong with them. They have the devil inside of them. And they can't control themselves. And when you go no contact. You start to heal. You start to heal instantly. And you start to realize that you are never the problem. You were never the problem. Even if, like for me, after about a year of dealing with this bullshit ass situations with this person I started to just say fuck and start tagging and started to be a little toxic myself and I realized that she was pushing me over the edge and making the bringing the worst out of me and I realized a lot of that wasn't my fault it was only my fault because I stayed because I kept putting up with this shit and I should have left sooner that in that sense yes that was my fault but once you go no contact and you have time to reflect, self-reflection is everything. This is something narcissists can't do. But self-reflection is everything. Once you self-reflect, you start to realize that a lot of the bullshit that you were getting put through, that, that y'all went through together, was not y'all going through together. It was them putting you through. But in their head, they think y'all went through it together because you stayed. They're twisted people. They are twisted people. They're sick. Very, very twisted and sick. And I guarantee you, when you left that person for whatever it was, cheating, abuse, constantly lying, I guarantee you they see you as the problem. Or they want to believe you are so they don't have to feel shame. Shame is terrible for them. They don't want to feel it. They can't do accountability. That's why they'll never change. That's why they keep getting worse. They'll never heal because they don't know how to be accountable. Shame is like, for them, shame is just, it's like getting stabbed in the ass. It's fucking, it's awful. And I'm going to tell you what happens to them when you go no contact. Like I said before, you go no contact. You don't. They're calling you through multiple numbers, this and that. You keep blocking them. You're not picking up texts. They're moving on instantly. Or what appears to seem like they're moving on. Because truly moving on means you took time to heal. They are not going to do that because they don't think they were the problem. They're going to try, try new with somebody else. And it's not going to work. And when you go no contact with them, they're going to feel abandoned and it's going to cause a narcissistic injury. Narcissist's biggest fear is abandonment. Abandonment and exposure, exposing them. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're not bad mouthing this person for telling the truth, for telling your story. The truth, like the truth, like the God's honest truth. You're not bad mouthing them. Like they did that to you. They deserve people to know who they are. So if you're going around telling the truth, don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about it at all because they're going around right now telling a bunch, and I mean a bunch of lies about you. Or they're saying, they're telling, like I've said in previous videos, they're saying half-truths. Like they're saying what you did, but they're not telling people what the fuck they did to push you to that, that limit. How far they were on your, on your ass to make you react in certain types of ways. Because if you're if you're fed up with it, eventually you might just start saying, fuck it, let's start doing what this person's doing to me. If you give me that, I will give it right back to you. If what I receive, I give back. And they're, they're not seeing it as, well, I made that person do that. 
I pushed that person to become that way. No, they're not seeing it like that. They're seeing it as you should have just put up with my shit and kept it one hundred, kept it pushing. That's how they're seeing it. They live in a fantasy world. That's why they're always so unhappy because this fantasy world, like they have dreams that they cannot achieve. They're not achievable, and they have these relationship goals that they want to achieve, but they can't do it because they're not right themselves. It takes two people. It takes two people. Narcissists don't believe in 50-50. They don't. I've heard of the narcissist of mine that I was dealing with, the ex, actually tell me she does not believe in 50-50. She wants me to do more. I took it as a red flag, and about a month, maybe a month and a half later, I discarded her. I just couldn't deal with it no more. And when you discard this narcissist, like I said before, the biggest fear is accountability. I'm not accountability. Uh, abandonment. They're freaking out. They're texting multiple people. And when they get somebody new, they're still texting multiple people behind that person's back. And they're telling that person lies about you. They're lying on you. Why? Because for one, it makes them feel better. And for two, if you ever try to reach out to that person and warn them, their head has been filled with so many lies. So many lies. You shouldn't be mad at the new supply because the new supply is about to get what you got, but even worse. Because as narcissists go from relationship to relationship, it just keeps getting worse. Worse and worse and worse. They treat people worse and worse and worse. That's what narcissists do. That's what they do. It's all they know how to do is drama, pain, and suffering. And inflicting it and feeling like victims like this world is revolving around them and nobody truly cares about them they're sad people they're very sad people they're very broken very and they should not be in your life you should cut them off I don't care what you got going on with them I don't I really don't I don't I don't care if the sex is bomb I don't care if you got kids I don't care if they got a million dollars and you piss broke. Get the fuck out. Get out. If they got a million dollars, chances are that you're probably doing. You're probably a, a, a woman dealing with a man. Because a, a, a narcissistic man normally tries to bring more to the table than sex. He tries to get you with financial situations. Female narcissists normally try to bring sex into it and to control you. These narcissists, all they all cheat, remember that, but they don't cheat for the feel of it. They don't cheat to feel good. They cheat so they can gain new supply and keep control. And they know if they give that the, the, the person who they want to be the new supply sex, it's going to probably potentially keep them around a lot longer. Just know that them cheating on you had nothing to do with you. They're going to cheat on anybody regardless Anybody doesn't matter. They can't help it. Like I said, that's why you shouldn't be mad at them because they just cannot help it. They have got to do it. It's like it's like humans drinking water. We gotta drink water. Narcissists gotta talk to other people behind their partner's back. They have to. It fucking hurts if they don't. And especially if they're not going to therapy and they're not doing it for them. Oh, bro, they're not getting better at all. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Just give it some time. The Hoovers will come. If they don't come, just give it some time. They'll come. They'll come. For me, it took six days after I discarded this person to get them Hoovers. And when they came, oh, she, she was coming hard. It was coming hard. As hell. And when it didn't work, she tried to pull a reverse no contact on me. But it doesn't work because I'm already going no contact. If you're already going no contact and they hit you with a reverse no contact after Hoovering you, they're trying to reel you back in. Once they see that doesn't work, they will really start to badmouth the shit out of you. And really tell lies. And they'll get other people to hit you up. They will. I've seen I've seen so many videos of people talk about this. I've seen so many comments. And I've went through it personally. After about, I want to say, mm, about 26, 27 days. A couple days ago. Um, about a week ago. Some random person hit me up and told me to leave my, um, uh, my ex alone and I'm just like what and then I realized uh, I keep she's a narcissist this is what she does it's what she does like I said don't be mad at them feel sorry for them you get to be happy they never will 
And that is something for you to truly feel sorry for them about. Because for me, it hurts me knowing that this person, because I truly loved this person, loved with the ED at the end of it. I truly loved them. And it's just to know that they'll never achieve happiness. It's just like, damn. It's heartbreaking. I've cried about it. I've prayed about it, but just, I want you to know no matter how much you pray about this narcissist, your efforts are in vain. Karma's coming for that ass, and when it gets a hold of it, it's going to tear that ass up. Stay no contact. Heal yourself. Get that goal going. Get that dream going. Work. Feel good. You're strong. I promise you, you are. But that's it for this video. As always, love yourself forever until death. Deuces.